I know that GPU mining is being the lowest profitability uh, since um, it been ever uh, launched, and uh, you know it's it's been there for on the low side for a while. And the average home user with the average electric price, um, you know, it's not profitable for them to mine at all. Uh, with GPU mining, with AC mining is not the case. There's some miners are quite profitable currently, but the GPU mining, you know, there's no coins. Um, you know, some of the GPUs there are profitable, but they are also pricey, and still the return of investment time is quite uh, quite high, but. Uh, you know GPU mining is still there and you know it's not going anywhere um, well, for some folks it's uh, it's uh, it is profitable you know who has industrial mining who has cheap uh, cheap power source or free power source um, but well yeah it's, it's, uh, it's not profitable for most of the uh, home users um, anyway um, anyway we are doing some some still doing some testing of uh, of new mining hardware uh, which is coming out for GPU mining and um, today you know a couple of weeks we did uh, do um, installation for a Minebox 8 which is the 8 GPU case um, it's all in one case with all, in co all components um, but today we are doing this uh, with uh, 12 GPU um, mining case and uh, we will install 12 GPUs on this so this case is the 12 GPU case uh, for 12 graphics cards, of course. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you, you might put something else in it. Uh, but yeah, it's 12 GPU case all in one. So it includes power supply, includes uh, power cables, power cables for the graphics cards, includes uh, 60 uh, gigabytes of uh, SSD card, uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and the Intel Celeron G3900 CPU. Um, I think that that's that, that's it. It's, it has 2,400 2, watt power supply, and also does have um, cables for uh, every uh, graphics card. So there's total 24 six plus two pin cables. But keep in mind, you know, if you are using high efficiency graphics cards, um, these cables, you know, you know, they might get burned you know because these are splitter cable and you know I, I wouldn't suggest you something like this you know if you're using 300 watts per car to use such a splitter cable I, I think in this case they the cables will burn so assembling this case is it's very easy of course uh, as it is all in one case so basically what you do is you know when you get the case you remove all the packaging and uh, then just start install your graphics cards um, into the motherboard slots it does have uh, 12 16x uh, pcie um, slots for your graphics cards so um, in this video purpose i'm using uh, msi rx 570s uh, 4 gigabyte uh, or 12 of them so these cards would get you currently uh, best price per hash uh, actually because you know the price has dropped a lot of the on these graphics cards they used to be quite expensive but now you can get them you know even about in the 100 euro range uh, which makes you 12 GPU rig uh, you know cost will cost you 1200 uh, and euros and plus the case you know and all the other components you know it's 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 quite good price per hash in compared to the other cards uh, if you are mining Ethereum, of course. So yeah, after you installing the, the, the graphics cards into the case, um, you know, you screw them to the case. Uh, you can see them what, you can see them how I screw them to this case. And after then, uh, I, I am con connecting the power cables for every graphics card 8 pin connection. And uh, you know these cards are not very power hungry uh, and it only has one apron connection after the installation is done uh, there is also a bar uh, which you can screw to uh, secure the graphics cards you know to not get not them move around 
especially you know if this case you know if you're shipping this somewhere and uh, transporting you know uh, this is very good uh, to uh, hold down the GPUs so So after the installation, you know, when the graphics cards are in, this case already has a uh, hard, hard drive, a mini SSD card, uh, which has some Chinese windows on it, uh, which of course I'm uh, not going to be using in this video, because you know, me, I don't like to use windows, especially for mining, uh, and I do uh, love uh, HiveOS, and to install HiveOS, I'm using in this video, uh, uh, a high OS utility flasher. Um, if you don't know how to make a high OS utility flasher, comment down below. You know, I might might do a video if there is interest on it. Uh, if not, no, no point to do it. <laughs> but yeah, um, to use you know high OS utility flasher, it's very, um, very, very good. If you especially if you do have a large mining farm, you just plug it in the SSD uh, card or USB uh, flash drive and you know when you power on it's installing the hive os on your system straight away and after that when it's done it's just shutting down so we're gonna do this now and uh, you know you i plug in all, all the cables i plug in the the lan cable i plug in the uh, uh, hdmi cable for my monitor i plug in the usb cable for the uh, keyboard I also plug in the LAN cable uh, for my network connection and of course I plug in also the uh, SSD card which does have um, a HiveOS utility flasher. Um, so what you need to do first is when you boot on the system uh, you need to press delete on the keyboard to get into your motherboard BIOS otherwise it won't be booting you know you want your system to boot from the uh, SSD card where is the HiveOS uh, flasher so you need to choose in the motherboard BIOS you need to choose boot options uh, primary uh, as the uh, uh, as the uh, HiveOS flasher so after have you done that you just save the uh, save the settings and then uh, reboot the system and after rebooting uh, it will start automatically to uh, install the high voice on your current SSD card which is on the system and uh, it will take you that through that process about five minutes you will see everything and how you know when it's done you know it will shut down your system this is what what it will do it will shut down your system and you know it's done after it's shutting down the system you unplug the SSD card and you turn on the mining rig And it will automatically connect to your HiveOS account uh, and you just load the settings on these graphics cards. You load also the um, you load also the overclocks, you load also the flight sheets, what you want to mine, and yeah, and you're good to go. Um, so what I'm using for these graphics cards is um, my core clock is at uh, 1100. Uh, my core voltage is eight, eight, at 820. Uh, my memory clock is at uh, 2030. And uh, I'm using the memory tweak a tool uh, also in HiveOS, which I have set for 30. So the fan speeds are switched to zero also, because I don't see any point them turning on, because the fans attached on the mining case are doing a good job to cooling down the GPUs. And you can see this mining rig hashing now at 365 mega hash, uh, which makes this rig one of the best price per hash uh, for those folks who has cheap power, who has free power. You know, it's you know very rare somebody has free power. I don't know. <laughs> you know, especially if you have large large mining farm, who's gonna give you free power? Nobody. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, if this is the case, you know, this is the rig uh, to go uh, for you for mining Ethereum. 
this will be uh, one of the cheapest uh, uh, per per every hash you get. Um, you know, yeah, the profitability is not very high. It's it's about 150 US dollars a month. Uh, that's not including the power costs. If you uh, include the power costs, it's a lot less. So you can see that this mining is hashing 165 mega hash, and the power usage is 1050. 1500 watts from the wall for 12 GPUs which is not too bad um, if you look at this side I know the RX uh, 5700 they are much more uh, power efficient you know this would be the cards to choose for folks who has uh, a high electric price you know average home user 10 12 cents a kilowatt probably uh, this would be the card to choose if you're looking to mine Ethereum they are also a lot more expensive than the uh, RX uh, 570s. So this was a, a review for Minebox 12, which is a 12 GPU mining case, all in one, you know, installation guide and setup and also uh, mining uh, and some benchmark testing. Um, yeah, I do, do think that uh, these cases are you know, currently the best case scenario to use. Uh, for starting a mining, you know, it's you know it's a little bit tricky if you are using them from home because they have a high efficiency uh, fans and they could be a little bit more noisier than um, open air frame maybe for GPU rig or similar GPU mining setups. Uh, they could be a little bit more noisier, but otherwise, you know, if you are having a, a garage or maybe shed or something, you know. You know, some mining farm or some data center. You know, it's, it's one of the best best equipment to use, just because it's very simple to install, very fast. You know, and very easy to very easy management uh, of these cases. You know, there's there's not much work. You know, everything is. You know, the biggest plus is that everything is installed already, and you know, it's ready to go. You just put in your GPUs, flash the hard drive, and good to go. Um, so yeah, this was. Uh, the uh, review if you did like it hit the like button subscribe to mining hardware youtube channel and yeah mine hardcore or don't mine at all see you on the next video guys bye